here it's another problem about simple stretch. No? Here's the problem. Remember EBC, which is supported by a 20 millimeter diameter pin and bracket at C and a cable BD, was designed to support the 16 kilonewton load P as shown. If the allowable stress in cable BD is 200 megapascal, determine the minimum diameter of cable BD and the shear stress of the pin at C. Assume pin is subjected to double shear. So first, it will determine the diameter of cable BD. Now for BD, the stress is already given. Allowable stress, 200 megapascal. So to solve for its diameter, we need to find the force in cable BD. And then for the shear stress of the pin at C, we need to find the force or the reaction at C. Since the diameter is already given, 20. No. Uh, so okay. to do this, uh, first we need to determine the force in cable VDC. Cut tag section. Any? Okay, let's start with P. Our P is 16 kilo newtons. Okay. And um, to use statics or use equilibrium conditions, we need to resolve the force into components as well as the force in cable BD. So let's start with P. We have this horizontal component. Uh, since the angle is referred to uh, vertical, the vertical component becomes the adjacent side, while the horizontal component becomes the opposite side. So kung opposite siya, sine. No? So the value of this is 16 sine 40. Okay. For this one, for the vertical component, adjacent side, yeah. so ang value ni is 16 cosine 40. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so let's cut cable BD and then assign a force tension PBD and resolve, its, resolve the force into components. This one, adjacent one, so TBD cosine 30 and vertical is the opposite side. TBD sine 30. And, and then pin at C. So there are two reaction components, RCX and RCY. So to solve for TBD, let's sum up moment about C. No? And for the perpendicular distances, no, not a none. Like for this one, 1 1.2, for this force, 0 0.6, for this force, 0 0.4, and for this one, it's 0 0.6. Okay, okay. sign convention counterclockwise moment positive. So for this one, it's counterclockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, and clockwise. We have this one. This force times 0. 0.6 and sine 30 times 0. 0.4. 16 cosine 40 times 1.2. And 16 sine 40 times 0. 0.6. So solving this equation gives you Tension BD equal to 29.014. So with this value, we can solve for the diameter. The diameter of cable BD, we use the formula of normal stress, uh, force over area. And stress is given, force is given, so sa area, na ang ano. And... You solve for D using your calculator. Minimum diameter is 13.6 millimeters. Or if you want a whole or an integer value, and the value should be 14, the bigger one. 14 millimeters and not 13 millimeters. 
Okay. But this one is acceptable. Ah, okay. The second one is the shear stress. So we need to solve for RCX and RCY and then determine the magnitude or the resultant. So let's sum up force uh, horizontal. Okay. Um, there are three forces, so one, two, and three. RCX plus to the right, to the right, and left. Negative, therefore, uh, since the assumed direction is to the right, and we get a negative value, therefore, the correct direction of our CX is to the left. Okay. Um, summation of force uh, vertical. There are three also, one, two, and three. And solving for RCY, it's negative also. Therefore, the correct direction is downward. Since our initial direction is upward. Okay. <clears throat> so, after this, we solve for the resultant. This one. And the direction of RC is the third quadrant. Since X component is to the left. And RC, the Y component is downward, so construct a rectangle. The direction of the resultant is a third quadrant. Okay. So, after this, we now compute for the stress. Shear stress, uh, the area is given. I mean, the diameter is given and double shear also. So, times two an area. So, 2 times pi over 4 di diameter squared. For the force, since kilonewton, so, you convert it to newtons, we multiply the value by 1,000. And compute the value of the shear stress at C is 23.89 mega pascal. Ah, okay. So, I hope that you have learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.